Here's another delicious Your Wellness recipe from Harris Teeter. Hello, I'm Chef Tim. How about a little seafood? I'm going to show you how to make a Your Wellness mahi-mahi recipe. First, we're going to marinate our uh, mahi-mahi. And it's got a little bit of uh, peanut oil. You could use olive oil or uh, canola oil, uh, whichever you prefer. And while that's marinating, we're going to go ahead and make our uh, scallion oil, which we've got some chili paste in some vinegar. Now you could use rice wine vinegar or Chinese black vinegar. And then we've got our uh, fish sauce. And you don't want to overdo it with that, but uh, it's pretty strong. And then we've got our plum sauce. Once we got the mahi marinated, you could either you could either grill it or you could uh, pan sear it. But if you pan sear it, you want to cook it very low. And we put a little salt and pepper on there. And I'm going to cook it in, you know, whichever you prefer, the olive oil or the uh, peanut oil. Go ahead and put that marinade on there. You just want to make sure you toss it all around. But you don't want that marinade to burn, so you want to cook it kind of slow. Grilling would be a great substitute, so you don't have to cook it in that oil. Go ahead and let that slowly cook. And what we're going to do is going to uh, go ahead and make our scallion oil. And you want to use a, a pot that's deeper than what you actually need because it's, uh, this, when you add the scallions, it's going to come back up in the oil. You get that oil nice and hot. And we'll add uh, just about a uh, cup of oil. And you want to get it to just the point where it's just about to start smoking. We're going to go ahead and add our scallions. See this? nice and when you put that scallions into the oil it really really flavors the oil a lot and that's where all the flavors come from. And then we're just going to add our ginger garlic. Let that cook in there. And when you get a really really good strong flavor of the uh, ginger garlic that's when you want to slow down a little bit and turn it off. And then we'll add our liquid so it doesn't burn. When you add the liquid to hot oil, it's going to, uh, you know, it's not a good combination, so it's just going to prevent it from spitting out and get that all mixed up. And it's pretty simple. It takes a little bit of time to cut those ingredients, the scallions and everything. Um, but you know, you can get garlic pre-chopped. Better to chop it yourself. Uh, the flavor is a little better, but um, let me just go ahead and mix that. Try and make that uh, about 20 minutes before you need it, and uh, just so you can the flavors can come together a little bit better. And if you piece of mahi this thick, you're probably going to want to go in the oven with it. You want to have it uh, mahi could be just undercooked. You don't really want to cook all your fish um, all the way through. You want to leave them just underneath you know, at that point. Salmon and tuna are different, but uh, in mahi you want to be just under. A little bit of caramelization on there, which is good, without really uh, burning the, the ginger or the garlic. And I've prepared some uh, some organic basmati rice. And you could use that as HD Trader brand, and it's, it's really good. It's really healthy. You know, you want to use you can use any rice if you want, but uh, the brown rice, you know, gets a lot more nutty flavor to it. It's you know a lot healthier for you having that uh, shell on the outside prevents you from using so much salt too because it's got its own little flavors working on it. What you're going to do is you're going to put it right on top of that rice. Put it right on top. And then we're just going to spoon this oil. I'm going to add, once it cools down just a little bit, we're going to add our herbs just so they don't cook out too much. Cilantro and uh, mint is our herbs in here. Cilantro is a good herb that you could put into things in the beginning, it doesn't. It, it changes flavor. It gives you a lot of complexity. And then we just want to paint it right over the top. You got a lot of, you know, a lot of juices in there, and the scallions and everything. And there you go. It doesn't get any easier than that. We hope you enjoy Harris Teeter's Your Wellness Mahi Mahi recipe. We'd like to suggest Your Wellness Brown Organic Basmati Rice as a side dish for your Mahi Mahi. 
To find this recipe and many more, or to view more cooking demonstrations, visit harristeeter.com.